Okay, safe to say we did a good job on the core and we did a great job on the legs. So let's uh, switch this up now. This is our accessory work. We're gonna do a couple rounds of this. And with this one here, um, what we wanna do is we wanna take a crusher grip. So crusher grip just basically means taking your dumbbell or whatever that is you use for a weight. It could be a milk jug, whatever. Holding it on the ends like that and just thinking about crushing it, okay? So first movement, we're bending it over and it is 60 bent over rows, okay? So we're in here, neutral spine, pulling that into our belly button, okay? Now, when we're doing that, uh, try to be in control on that negative. Don't hear and then just let it flop down, okay? Think about keeping those elbows close to that body, really feeling that engagement in the lats, in the back, okay? That's what we're looking for in that movement. After that, we are gonna switch that up into 50 floor press. So, we lay down on the ground. We're here, still in that crusher grip, right? And we are here, and we're pushing up 40 reps. So those elbows touch the ground every time, and those elbows lock out at the top every time. Not here. Not shorten them, right? Full range of motion. Okay, so that's 50 floor press. Once you've done that, you're gonna stand up, and this will turn into 40 curls. So we're here, right? And we're just keeping those elbows tight to the body. The other thing too, when we're doing curls, we wanna keep, think about squeezing those butt cheeks, right? We don't want Vegas style curls, right? So we're here, nice and controlled. After that, we move into 30 press. So standing nice and tall, dumbbell, kind of at your collarbone to start and pushing 30 overhead, okay? And try to put that head through the window there every time. That's gonna mimic that barbell thing and that's something that we're always looking for in that barbell is to get that arm through the window here, not back here, through those arms and we will feel that transfer come back into our, into our shoulders. So those people, you say, oh, look at that back, it looks amazing. If we get our head put through that window every time, that's gonna give us those shapely muscles in the back, okay? Once we're done that, we're gonna lay back down on the ground and we're gonna do skull crushers. So skull crushers, they're 20, okay? Elbows are locked, they don't move. We're thinking about bringing that dumbbell right back to our forehead, right, for 20 reps. Again, bring that dumbbell right down to that forehead and right to lock out for 20 reps, okay? So, um, I've just got that written out as once. You can do it once, you can do it a couple times if you like. That's a great little arm pump. You can keep that one at your side. If you're ever looking just for some accessory work, if you feel like you wanna do some upper body stuff, that's a great little upper body pump. Uh, it's a real go-to for me when I just if you're in the garage and looking for something uh, because I don't have a bench, it's a nice way to do some work with some dumbbells, okay? So that's it. One, two rounds. Choose your own adventure. Great little arm pump to finish up. You're welcome, Laurie. Have a great day, everyone.